Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with stampingwithdiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining me either through YouTube or through Facebook, make sure that um, through Facebook that you give StreamYard the um, permission to let me know who you are. And if you're through YouTube, make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. This is a pre-recorded um, technique video that I've done. Um, I wanted to make sure that I continue to do it while I was away during the, um, the holiday season. So um, this one's a fun one. I love doing anything with washes or anything like that. So um, this one we're going to do with a stencil and we're going to do white uh, wa watercolor wash. So let's just hop on right on down to my um, desktop here. So it's called a stencil watercolor wash technique and you know honestly this is a lot of fun to do and you can get so many different um looks to the whole um, particular thing we are going to use the stencils this comes with five different stencils and this is the artistic um stencils that are in i think it's on page 126 of the annual catalog just checking that out um not 126 128 and they're right down here and they they come in there's five of them and they are amazing so we're going to use one of these masks we could have used any one um this one could lend itself to um a masculine card that i'm going to do and it may not depending on what um what comes of it all right so with this technique because it's a wash what we want to do is we want to use um, a, a cardstock that is actually going to let us um, work with watercolor. Now we could use um, watercolor, the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. It's quite thick, this particular one, or we could use the shimmery white. I've chosen today, I'm going to use the shimmer white um, because it dries a little bit faster than what it does on the other. Now, with these techniques, what I do is I have a um, printout for there. Um, what I will have a YouTube link. And I also will have a picture of this card, plus also the measurements to this card and different notes if there's certain things that I've used, like the stencils will be one that I use the shimmery paper, that sort of stuff. This will then post the very next day at 9.05 on my um, uh the Facebook group and that Facebook group, there's a link just right down below there um, where you can um, join with the Facebook. So let's get started on this technique. Now I decided to go with blues. Um, and you know what? I'm also going to use a stamp that I haven't used in a while is the Heron Habitat. And we're going to use, I think we'll do a thank you card out of here. We'll use some, the Heron, maybe some of these, um, grass seams. Not sure exactly how it's going to turn out until we do this. Now with this shimmer white paper, it does have shimmer on it. It's also a tiny bit of a bit of a um, off white. I call it a winter white. So I'm going to use this stencil and I don't think it matters what size that you're going to use, but you are definitely going to need some of your um, water painters. Now I was going to use my bigger water painter. Uh, here it is. And I have, I have water in the barrel, but I'm actually going to dip this more in um, the, the water itself. And I'm going to use Balmy Blue and Knight of Navy as well. Now I've gone ahead and I put re-inker in here and I find that it, it's better than squeezing it. And then I'm going to come in with my big brush um, water painter. And I'm just going to get some water in there. We want to get a fair amount of water because we're doing a wash again. And you're also going to need a piece of paper toweling on there as well. All right. So let's just, you know, I'm worried about this. So we're just going to go and we're just going to brush this across the stencils. Now, one thing to remember is with these stencils, it does, it's plastic, so it, it um, repels the water. So you're gonna want to have a piece of like paper towel or kitchen towel or whatever you call it. And you're gonna want to dab it 
just off of that, off of the plastic. Now let's kind of just look to see, oh, it's not bad. So this is kind of the wash and you know, I could come in and I could use my, um, my heat gun on this, but I think I'm just going to dab it. And then I wanted to add a tiny bit of um, color. I wanted to add, um, I guess uh, it would be like flex on there. So I'm coming in with my lighter one or my smaller brush. And I'm going to just come in with my bone folder. And I'm just going to put some flex on here. Just a bit more texture on there. There we go. All right. And that's basic. What? basically all we're going to use at that point but is that not a neat background now this is a little messy you know I could not use it but you know every one is going to be totally different and then I'm going to come in with my heron um, stamp set and I'm going to actually stamp it all with the balmy blue and then I've done this technique it's a direct to rubber technique and I'm coming in with my second color, which is Night of Navy. And I'm just going to color parts of this bird. I'm going to try to get a feather look with it. And then we're just going to huff on it. And just stamp that on there. And then, of course, we have dyes that go with it. So see, that's giving us a look like a blue heron. And we're going to actually cut that out with one of the dyes. Um, and another thing that I did do with the dyes was I cut these this um, grass effect out. And I cut that out with Sahara sand. But let me go in here and cut, let's cut this heron out. Come in with our mini cut and emboss. Have you heard the rumor? Well, it's not a rumor, actually. We're coming out with a boho blue um, cut and emboss machine, but it's actually available only to demonstrators for this month. And then it's going to be available to um, uh, people that join our teams. And what a great opportunity to be able to buy that in the um, month of January and February. You know, whether you join for the discount or whether you join for um, the community. And then there's some that want to do it as a business. But, uh, yeah. So, like I say, this is a pretty simple card, what we're doing, because the main focus is actually on the technique itself. So I have this grass that's going to go there. And then I'm just going to put this heron down here. And that kind of got lost in there. I'm actually going to take my, let's see. I'm just have the rest of my card stock there. My goodness, where can things go so quickly? Great. I'd actually done another one and it's a little bit less than that. So I kind of want to show off this bird. So I'm just going to bring that in. This one, oh, it's going to look so pretty with something else on there. So I'm going to come in and I think this is just a bit too much grass on there. So I'm just going to come in and cut some of that off. You're not really going to see. There we go. And I'm just gonna glue that on to my card. So think of all different sort of um, type things that you could actually put onto this. So I'm just gonna put that grass on there. Like this heron better than the other heron that I had done. And we're actually just going to pop this up with dimensionals. And when I think we might even have to use you know what, I can put 
this here. And another one right up here. And then it's going to be kind of free flowing down below. Let's just put him on there. But see how that gives a different background. So many of these techniques that I've been doing, you can use for different backgrounds and that sort of stuff. It's amazing. You can make it as your focal point. You could do whatever you want with that. Now, okay, I didn't score this, so, and I haven't got my trimmer close by. So this happens to be five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just actually going to go in. And if you don't have your score a hand close by, what you want to do is you just want to line those edges up there. And then you're going to hold down really tight. And then you're just going to use your bone folder and score it that way. So it's kind of a cheater way of doing that. All right. Oops. And then we're going to put this on here. This is um, Knight of Navy. And this happens to be four by five and a quarter. I usually do the regular size cards on here. So yeah, if you like this, give me the thumbs up. Share my video. That's one of the best compliments that you can give me. I really do appreciate that. And then this is going to go right here. Now this could have gone over just a bit more. And I think I'm going to take it up and pick it up just a bit more to put it over here. And then we definitely want to do a thank you on there. Now, I thought I had some of that. How could I lose something like that? I had a strip of the, one of those things, trying to get so much done before I leave on holidays. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a strip. one's quite big but I'm going to put that right across there now this happens to be the shimmery white paper and see how it's a little bit different than that color there just a tad but it's something that I would notice and then I'm just going to come in with my knight of navy I'll close up this blue one and we're going to put thank you on this card so it can be a masculine card so let's put it out there, I think. Whoops, I got a halo on there, so we'll just turn it over. Check it for that halo. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on there. So like I say, this will be posted in the group. And you'll be able to download it. Now, see, the flex really help on this card as well. And then what we can do is we can go and put... Hmm, So this is actually show, it doesn't really show up too much. So I'm going to come in with a blending brush. And I'm just going to put just, just, I don't know if I should put navy on it or if I should maybe put balmy blue. I think we'll just put a tiny bit of navy around here. This would have been nice to do the wash on here as well. You know what? I think while I've got it out, I can also use the balmy blue on it as well. Yeah, this would have been pretty cool to have the wash done on it. You know what? While I've got it out, I can turn around and do that. 
I could have taken this piece off here and cut as well. But let's do this. And that stencil was just right here. Oh, it's a good idea. You could put a, oh, there's our stencil. So I'm just going to take this. And now there's watercolor behind there. So we want to be very, very careful um, that I don't get that water. Just going to put a tiny bit of wash on there. I'm going to come in with my paper towel. Just give it a tiny bit of a look. But see what I mean by that water? We don't want, want it to get into the ink. And let's just go ahead and put that right. Okay, just cut off a tiny bit of that. And we're going to pop that up with dimensionals as well. Then like making a ton of mistakes, right? All right, so let's close that up because I know I'll end up having something happen there. And we can put this on there. Just like so. And now we can embellish. And I think these matte um or these solid fauceted gems will work the best. And I'm going to go ahead and use my balmy blue ones on there. Whoops, those are pool party. I'm going to use my balmy blue. Great colors. It comes in magenta, blushing bride, pool party, mossy meadow, um, night of navy, and also the balmy blue. So a real good selection of colors with this, that's for sure. And let's go ahead and put one right down here as well. So there's our card. And this is the wash background on there. This one will show you the messier one that I had done. Um, I preferred this one. Now, the difference was on this one, I used the thinner brush. So I would say use the thinner brush. Don't use the thicker brush like this because it just, it saturates it too much. Now, unless you were using a lighter color, it would work okay. So there you go there. Oh, you know what? I should put something on the inside of this card, right? So let's just go and I think I could put some bull rushes on the inside. So I'll just actually go put that on the inside. I'm gonna do that in Night of Navy could have done it in balmy blue because that actually would look pretty good with balmy blue because it would be tone on tone there we go just like so all right so there's our card that is um, our stencil watercolor wash technique so I hope you enjoyed that this um, like I say um, and tomorrow it will be on um, the board showing how to do it so i hope you enjoyed that and um stay tuned um welcome um come back in the new year and uh you no know, action on saturday we will be doing a card sketch and then in the new year i'll be back to my regular schedule when i'm back home anyways you guys have a great day bye for now whoops